does low dose naltrexone kill cancer cells? I would say it supports the actions of your classic cancer killing drugs such as your platinum, such as your radiation. These, these drugs and these modalities do work and they work well in a lot of patients. However, there's a small fraction of patients that don't respond as well. And what low dose naltrexone can do is that it can open up to these patients that are non-responsive the whole idea that yes you can use these treatments in, in, in your case which I think is, is, is fantastic and if you were to say do these patients see that as a cure to their cancer in that situation you, you, mu you must say it's helped them and that help it's given them is, means the world. We now know how best to use naltrexone. In the past we used to think naltrexone should be used continuously and that would cause that, that would induce some effects in the number of patients. However, the data that we've generated very recently suggests that we can actually improve on that. And it's these small step changes that will lead to, to a situation where these patients with cancer will benefit. In the case of the patient who had the vitiligo, who's still here years later with a very advanced cancer, we know there that by damping the inflammation, boosting the stimulation, uh, a killer cell, which is half asleep, woke up and has indeed gone around killing the cancer. So if it does it, it's doing it indirectly. But that still doesn't detract from the fact that that's a very uh, powerful possibility. Um, so the results of, of our studies have allowed us to understand the action of low-dose naltrexone much, much better than we did. And armed with this knowledge, we can design new treatment regimens, these new different strategies that can be used in patients. And in that regard, it's a game changer. We now know how best to use naltrexone. NHS and the, the government say, and the various people say, that they would basically like drugs which are non-toxic, cheap, and cheap in inverted commas, the current uh, drugs being used to treat cancer are, are coming in at an average of about £5,000 a month. And when you finish one, and there's another one. So these costs are totally unsustainable. Whereas the, the advantage for a, a drug like this that's, that's uh, cheap, non-toxic, can extend life possibly. We don't know till we try that. But you can see the doctor. It does improve the quality of life in a lot of people. That, that's an enormous potential that could save, I believe, you know, millions in our treatments. Well, you know, in, in a word, with the, the findings that we've, we've uh, captured here, showing these, it was really unexpected without uh, these closely observed clinical observations of various patients. It gives a complete scientific justification for taking this forward into the clinic and giving evidence to the clinicians and the regulatory authorities and say, look, this does this, that and the other, it should be incredibly useful in these conditions and here you have this enormous amount of anecdotal evidence that it is. So basically we want to go forward and capture it so it can actually be used and prescribed in the clinic on the NHS. The exciting part of our data is that we now understand how low-dose naltrexone works. What is required now is people to engage with us, for people to understand uh, how this drug can be used to the benefit of, of, of cancer patients.